Welcome to the uh, Crop Protection Lab in Regina, Saskatchewan. Uh, my name is Philip Northover. I'm the supervisor of the Crop Protection Lab, and today I'm going to show you uh, how you should submit a weed sample to the Crop Protection Lab for identification. So when you find a weed that you uh, want identified or you're uncertain what it is, uh, you really want to get the entire plant. And I'm trying to get the root system as well, because that's very important as well to, to identify. You, you need, need the whole plant, and for us to have any chance of identifying at all, you want to include as much plant as possible. Now in this example we don't have the flowers and the seeds, but if you do, ha if you are in a situation where you can get those, that is a big help to us uh, in identification. And then place it on a newspaper, uh, just as I'm doing here, spread it out a bit. And this is just to press the plant and keep it uh, in a somewhat fresh state, but to preserve all the features of the plant we need for identification. Put it in a, just a simple newspaper and then put some weight on it. So after a day has passed, uh, just go back to the plant, take it out, check to see that uh, there's a, it's not, not broken, you're not missing any things, and it's always good to take more than one plant when you're, when you're sampling. Just try to take, take a number of them because that can help us as well with uh, determining what growth stage it's in and other features that we need. And from there, Take the newspaper, if it's very wet, you may want to leave it for a longer period of time. If it's not, just take the plant, put it in a newspaper, and to prepare for shipping, it's not a bad idea to take two pieces of cardboard. Put the plant and the newspaper behind there, and then place it in a rigid container. So after you've prepared the sample for submission, uh, a, a very important part is actually the crop submission form. You have to fill this out to provide us as much information as you can with respect to plant height, plant growth habit, the area you found it, uh, surrounding plants. So that is how you would submit a weed sample to the Crop Protection Laboratory. Once again, you want to include the entire plant, the roots, the leafy material, the fruits, and the flowers, and also as much information as you can provide on the growth habit, where you found the plant, the soil type, everything in that relates to its environment. If you do that, it'll make it, our jobs a lot easier to make a successful identification, and you'll be much more satisfied as you'll be making, as you'll get an answer to your question.